Today we are hooking up a post hole digger, an auger, to a Kubota tractor. This is a L3410 model. And uh, this is a good tutorial for somebody who, now the newer ones sort of hook up the same, but we have a really older one laying around here that we're gonna try to hook up. And it's very challenging for just one guy to do this, and it's very dangerous because these suckers are real heavy. Uh, but let me show you the basics on how it's gonna go on. I won't be able to uh, film this with uh, one hand because this is a you know very very heavy unit but this is what we're looking at that's the uh post hole digger there okay and as you can see i got this held up by a chain to that ceiling there you do not want this thing hanging on you i mean not hanging on you you do not want this thing falling on you okay and then you're also going to have this u-shaped piece here now depending on the type of model you have this bracket here may be on the top ours is on the bottom this is an older setup okay now the way that this works is you're not going to need your center hook up here okay this is actually going to come completely out on the bottom of this there will be let's see if we can get the phone down there see the hole right there that is gonna go in here okay according to the uh, the height that you're gonna need so we're gonna remove this and the trick is to pull this up it's gonna be really heavy and this whole back end is gonna start swaying on you so I totally recommend getting somebody to help you do this but I don't get any help so I got to do this on my own but we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna put that pin right in there not sure how I'm gonna do it but make sure you have your uh, pin here in your other hand to be able to slide it through there. After we have that piece connected there, that's when we're gonna take this unit and you see this bracket here and this pin? We're gonna place that on here. I'm uh, gonna have to play with it a couple times to get the right size, but that's gonna get placed on here and our pin's gonna get slid through. Then we can hook up our three points down here all right and you want to pull these pins out that were in here pull them out so that these are free pull them out of both sides so you can move this freely and then uh you'll be able to raise these up and put them on the pins there okay so the first step is i got to try to lift that sucker up without hurting myself and line it up with that top pin remember Taking this piece out, it's no longer needed. Have your pin in your hand. And be very careful when you're doing this. It just wants to fall on me already. See, I got the pin in there. All right, now it's time to hook up our shaft. All right, I'm gonna try to do the uh, the shaft first because if I were to hang this next, that's just gonna be hanging here in my way, hitting me in the head when I'm trying to hook the shaft up. Now, if you're brand new to this, hopefully you're not, but you are gonna have two parts to your shaft here. You got the part coming from the uh, post hole digger itself, and then I already had set this in there, but then you have this other part here and the way that it's shaped, it will only go inside this shaft a certain way. So you may have to keep turning this one until it slides in here. All right. Um, it's hard to do it. Oh, there we go. All right, so that one. That's back in. Now, you got to be real careful when you're doing this. Again, by yourself here. You don't want this thing falling on you. So we're going to try to slide this shaft up in here. Give us enough room. Now we can slide it back down to put it on that PTO. And again, when you're down here pulling around on this thing, make sure this thing is secure because it will pin you in this tractor. It's very heavy. I'm going to set the phone down and put that shaft on that spline there. The shaft is on. Now, 
This has a little pin on it. I'll show you right here inside of the shaft. All right, this one is actually frozen up. I got to unfreeze that. This shaft should lock in. It should not slide. See, that wants to slide out. There's a little groove here in the spline. That pin, you have to tap that in, which would make this lock inside of this groove so that this does not come out. All right, and that's very important. You don't want to uh, jeopardize anybody's safety operating this machine. So you're going to slide that up. And we're going to try to get it past that groove. I'm going to spray some WD-40 and stuff on here, let it soak. Then I'm going to come back and tap this pin and pull. And you will you should hear it click into place, but you may not, depending on how rusted up that is. All right, but you definitely make sure that that is seated in that groove before you send the operator out with this machine. Got myself a hammer and a punch. What I'm gonna do is set it right on that pin and I'm gonna tap. Definitely gonna put gloves on because I'm probably gonna bust my knuckles and be screaming. I uh, won't be recording that because I'm gonna need two hands. But uh, again, I said it before, I'll say it again. Make sure that is secure. You're gonna be banging under here and the job's not worth your life. The pin is in and locked. Now, I can pull on that and it's not going forward or backward anymore. Okay, moving on. That's now, we're gonna take this and basically, let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Ah. You're gonna set that piece up there like that. And again, I'm not sure exactly which uh, pinhole we gotta go in here. The pin is in, okay. Now, here's another uh, tricky part, okay. Now, you need these three points to be as low as possible because when you do, right now I have them lowered all the way, but when you lift on these, you wanna be able to have this lift up high enough off the ground. If you raise these all the way up and then connect it, well then you can't go up any higher and this thing is stuck on the ground. So, raise these up maybe a couple of inches, okay? You don't wanna come all the way up. Raise them up a couple of inches. Now, we need to get this lowered down. And the only way you're gonna do that, and this is very dangerous, you can see I have it secured here, is I'm gonna have to pull on this and walk this whole auger backwards so that this bar will lower down. little bit of a dilemma uh, my cable tightened up on me and I can't really walk this thing out far enough for that to drop down so if you do uh, create something like this that's supporting this keep in mind the next step here I need to get this to go a little bit lower I got it almost there all right but that's still not where I need it to be and even though I lift up on that this thing's just hanging in the air because I'm already too tight there I got some slack out of the chain. Uh, I just basically hoisted this back up a little bit to make this loose. And I just left one hook on here now. So it actually worked out. So let's go ahead and finish lowering that down. I was able to get these in place now. Put a pin in there. Same thing with the other side. And when I raised my three-point hitch up, you can see I have really good clearance on the ground now uh, so I really don't need to make any further adjustments luckily the last final stretch there I did have a, a buddy from lawn and golf uh, Steve he had stopped by to pick up his trailer and he gave me gave me a hand for that last final stretch but I was doing okay um, but now uh, it was really nice to get some some help with that last stretch there so that's how you hook up 
a auger attachment to a Kubota for the most part. Some of the newer models are a little bit different, but they're all sort of the same concept. But if you're gonna do it yourself, please wear gloves and just uh, make sure you really have that attachment secure while you're shaking that thing around and hooking everything up. You'll definitely uh, either get hurt or dead, one or the other. All right, guys, please hit subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up. I do these videos daily. I still need to get more subscribers up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.